What is up, guys? It's your boy Reppin' Millions here, here to talk about that Watch Dogs Wii U version and how I feel about it, even though it's not going to be released until next year. Not next year, next week, actually, November 18th, Tuesday. So let's get to popping. So, those of y'all who didn't know, the Wii U version, like I said, is coming out next week. Next Tuesday, the 18th. And the thing that's so crazy. They say we're getting newer features compared to the next gen, like Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and then the current gen, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3. Well, the only new features we're getting on the Wii U version is the fact that you get to display the map on your Wii U gamepad, and that you also use the off-play TV, uh, off-play off TV uh, feature where you get to play your game on of your TV on your little gamepad screen. That kind of makes me a little fidgety, but here's what gets even funnier. We're not getting any DLC for Watch Dogs on the Wii U. So those of y'all who are getting a Wii, who have a Wii U, and the thing about getting Watch Dogs, you're not getting any DLC. So they say, but the only DLC we're really getting is that Palace Pack, but that's only if you pre-order it from GameStop. Only. But there's really no point in that. All you're doing is getting an ATM boost, you're only getting one extra free mission or whatever, and that's it. Not No more DLC, nothing else. We're not going to be getting... No bad blood, no season pass, no extra skins unless whatever's already in the game. Like, but I mean, that that's all we're getting. And here's the funny part too. Why would I want to buy this product too? It don't even have multiplayer. At first it was originally supposed to have multiplayer. Why would you extend it this long and just exclude all the main stuff that was part of the game? So you're just giving us this product that should be worth probably 40 bucks at this rate or not even, cause not even close to 50, just $40. Because now you're going to make somebody pay $60 for a package that's going to be technically incomplete compared to the other versions. I'm not mad because I'm not I'm not even going to get this game unless I'm going to get it on PlayStation 4 maybe. But I mean, why would I want to get a game like this if it's only going to be having, it's going to lack features that I could get if I buy the other versions. So now technically what you're telling me Ubisoft, you want me to buy your other versions instead of trying to get it on the Wii U. But yet you want to support the Wii U. And then the thing that's funny too, they also already said like a couple of months ago, they're no longer going to be releasing rated M games. They're not even going to make a Zombie U2 unless more people buy the Wii U, more people start showing them support for their games on the Wii U, and then they're going to be like, okay, now we're going to bring rated M games back. That They said rated M games. So technically the rated E, rated teen, whatever games they're going to be making, like Just Dance, Raven Rabbids, or uh, whatever else they're going to make is going to be coming out on the Wii U and 3DS. But no, 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 no. Not not rated M games, so. But Ubisoft is, I I, just, I can't believe them. They just, and you know what? Shout out to ignorant gamers. They they write hashtag UB swindle. That's what they call it. UB swindle, like cause they sit there, and lie to us. They're gonna give you a game. It's it's, it's not even. There's no point of even getting this game on the Wii U unless you just want to play, just a half-ass product. Now it's not to say. I wouldn't get in a future if it was probably like worth $20 or something because just for the get hell of it to get it on the Wii U. But I mean, there's no really point in me getting it at this point at the full price that they're going to give it to you because it's not the full package. Like I said, no DLC, no multiplayer, no season passes, nothing. There's nothing else, not even like a, a Nintendo exclusive for them. Like you don't even get to adjust your character up like in nice Nintendo stuff. They could have done something like that. They could say, yo, Nintendo, why don't you throw some things in here? Like not even like a nice, like you can wear Mario's overalls, nothing, you know, Link. I already know they're doing all this crap in Bayonetta and all these other games that are going to be Nintendo's exclusive. But I mean, still, it would have been something nice like that. Like they did start the stuff like that in Echo Bandai when it came down to Tekken. Uh, tag tournament too for the Wii U edition. They did all that stuff, but why? You know, but I'm just saying that's just something they could have implemented, put in there. But why would you ex like extend the release date of a game through like for the like close to the, pretty much the end of the year and not add nothing else in it? Just remove all the cool stuff and then you uh, watch over here and say quote unquote could not put it because the, the CPU driver, the processor just couldn't handle it enough. It would have got fried if we put all that stuff in on that. The system wouldn't have been able to run it correctly. When the Xbox 360 runs it perfectly fine, and the Wii U is actually a little bit powerful than that. Between that and the PlayStation 3. Now, I'm not saying it's like ultimate over them, but I mean, it has enough horsepower. Not, not, not compared to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, but I know that for a fact. But I mean, it has enough horsepower to handle anything else that they have to put on there. Only if the team actually puts the effort into it. But they just being lazy. Game developers are lazy nowadays. And Ubisoft, 
y'all y'all did y'all did Nintendo dirty with that. Like you might as well just say cancel it because you already said you're not gonna release. You, you already said you didn't cancel it, but you put.